back again with another episode of Go Wild and I'm here with zoo curator Joey Brown. Mm -hmm. This week we'll be featuring an animal that I'm afraid of, the Jamaican boa. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, does the, does the snake have a name? Um, this one is we call Lucy. <laughs> Actually, so this is one of our adult uh, Jamaican boas. Mm -hmm. um, it's a female. And so this is one of, you know, is our largest snake species in Jamaica. Um, easily the largest. We have about nine total snakes in Jamaica. Um, nine snake species, yeah. none of which are venomous. So we have no venomous snakes in Jamaica, so you have nothing to worry about there. So these guys aren't venomous, although the bite could be kind of painful. There's not been any venom there, so it's, it's all good. So if I'm beaten so, by, a, by Lucy, what do I do? So you would just clean the wound, you know, clean it like a normal, like if it was like a puncture wound or something, keep mm -hmm. it clean um, and just treat it like a normal wound kind of. Put some antibiotic ointment on it um, and that's about it. And you know, so I've been, I've been bit a couple times and just kind of clean the wound, take care of it and then it's all good. It's just kind of sore for a couple of days. How big is Lucy? So Lucy's probably, she's about, when he's stretched out, she's just over six, seven feet. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's about two meters. And how big can they get? They've been known to get, you know, eight, nine. There's been reports of 10, 11 feet, um, but no accurate measurements of those snakes. So it's hard to really say, but I'd say typically around, you know, eight feet would be the largest. What, uh, what does she eat? So they eat um, largely rodents, um, so a lot of rats. Um, but they also can eat like bats and birds. They've been known to find birds nests in the trees and eat eggs, but primarily their diet is rodents. So they're actually good to have around your farm or maybe by your house in the country because you know rats are eating all the crops or spraying disease or pooping everywhere. Yeah. And these guys are helping take care of that problem. And they honestly, they literally want nothing to do with people. You know, they're largely nocturnal, so they're sleeping all day. And then they're usually going out in the night, going out at night and kind of looking for food. So they're not aggressive if I see uh, if you Jamaican see bull. one, it's not going to come after you. If you see one, all you have to do is just step back and walk away. Yeah. And they don't, you've heard stories of snakes chasing after people. That doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. You know, it, usually people get bit is because they're messing with the snake. They're trying to harm or kill the snake. And the snake, you know, like I said, they bite out of fear or they're trying to protect themselves. Um, so they're not trying to attack people or anything. You can see they also have this, when she hits the sunlight just right, she gets a really pretty, that rainbow iridescence on her scales. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Do you want to do a little here? You can pet the tail. How about you pet the tail? You can, okay. There you go. Look at that. How do they mate? So the males have what are called hemipenes, or their, their penises. They actually have two hemipenes, mm -hmm. so two penises, that are kept inside the tail up here. And then when it's time for breeding season, the male and female actually wrap tails um, and, and have kind of the male insert, insert his organs into the female. Um, the cool thing about these guys is a lot of snakes lay eggs, mm -hmm. whereas boas, and the, or Jamaican boas, give what's called live birth. Um, they actually have egg development inside the body. These guys will actually give birth to anywhere from 20 to possibly even 50, 60 live baby snakes. When you say give birth, yes. how? So they have a little opening down here, really? actually right here on the tip of the tail. It's called the cloaca. Okay. So that's where they go to the bathroom and that's where their sexual organs are located. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time to give birth, the baby snakes come right outside, right there on the tail. She's got this beautiful, yellow and black pattern. Mm -hmm. When baby Jamaican boas are born, they're actually like this neat burnt orange reddish color. And so they stay that color for like almost the first several months and then they'll eventually kind of switch to this nice pretty pattern here. How often do they shed their skin? Uh, so it depends. Their shedding cycle kind of depends on how much they're eating. So typically it may be every two to three months. Mm -hmm. um, so every couple months uh, they'll do a, a shed, do a full complete body shed. So over a few days, you know, their colors become a bit more pale and they kind of get this kind of grayish covering over their eyes. And then on one day, they'll actually, it starts from the tip of their kind of head and they'll just do a complete shed of all their skin on one big kind of piece of snake. Um, and that's just how, as they grow. Okay. How much does it cost to maintain? Here at the zoo, and typically even in the wild, they only eat about every couple weeks. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because, because they are cold-blooded animals, they can eat a larger meal and sustain their metabolism over a couple weeks. Um, and so, you know, in the wild, they maybe come across a small bird or a small rodent um, every week or two. And then, or if they find a larger meal, you know, they can eat something, you know, because they can kind of um, stretch their jaws and eat, you know, a very large rat way bigger than his head. You know, that could last them months if needed. So it's, they could easily go several months without eating any food. Okay. What's their lifespan? Uh, there's still not a lot known about this, but typically boas, they, I mean, they could live at least 30, 40 years, probably upwards around 50 years. Mm -hmm. um, and depends, in the wild, it's probably a bit shorter than that as well. Okay. What's something interesting about the Jamaican boa? Yeah, okay. You hear she, 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 she hits. so well. She hits. 
So they are endemic. They are a Jamaican endemic species, which means they're only found right here in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So there's various boa and python species around the world, um, but this is our Jamaican Jamaican boa, which is it's pretty special, you know, because you can't find a snake anywhere in the world. It is considered vulner vulnerable or almost maybe even endangered. Yeah. There's still a lot we need to study about these snakes. Um, and unfortunately, they are kind of persecuted and killed often because people possibly think they're venomous when they're not. Uh, and people just obviously have a common fear of snakes. Yeah. When, you know, really snakes, they want nothing to do with, with us. And they're very helpful for the environment. Jesus. <laughs> Tell me you got that. <laughs> <laughs> So it's found in kind of little, small kind of pockets in various parishes like around the island. But I'd say around cockpit countries, like the most populated, you're yeah, okay, you're yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, there are some parts in Portland, you know, St. Thomas, um, St. Elizabeth, St. Mary. So all over the island, really, you see them. And they are, you know, typically they're a bit more Arboreal, so they do like to live in the trees a lot. You'll find them in sometimes in cave systems. You know, they've even been seen on, in caves feeding on bats flying out of the cave. But honestly, if you see one in the wild, if you just leave it alone and back away, you have nothing to worry about. So that's it for this week's wild adventure. Join us again next time to learn more about the animals here in Jamaica. Until then, I'm Kelsey.